Well, hello, friends out there. Rob here today. I want to talk to you about an accessory for the Tascam Portacapture X8. Well, I guess it's not exactly an accessory. It's actually a microphone. I got it right over here. This happens to be the Tascam TM80. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and do a real quick unboxing. All right, friends, as we go through here, I got a little video getting ready to come up. I hope that you're going to enjoy seeing it. About eight things I'd like to see them add to the Tascam Porta Capture X8. But up until that happens, let's move some things around. I have been really having a great job with Tascam. Wonderful time. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to look at this microphone right here. Recently, I picked up a Rode pod mic. And I wanted another mic just to add to the collection. And at $40, this mic right here by Tascam just seemed like an absolute no-brainer. Check it out. Looking good. The box is nice. TM80. 40 bucks comes with a lot of things. Now, I'm not necessarily expecting the vocal quality to be a thousand times better than anything else, but for 40 bucks, really, this is the type of thing that you can't go wrong with. Let's go ahead and open it up now. As you can see right here, we get a nice little inside of the box with a bunch of pa papers and packages and things like that, and some information about the TM80. Actually, when I was looking up online, I did download. All of that stuff, and I thought it was pretty nice to see. I wanted to check out the polar patterns. Of course, it's going to come with an XLR cable. A really nice one, right? <laughs> For $40, you really get your money's worth. It's also going to come with this little tabletop stand. Um, looks like we've got a 3 8 to 5 8 adapter right here. Check that out. That is something you don't usually see. That's pretty nice. We're also going to go over here and get, for all of those that like ASMR... <laughs> Look at that shock mount. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And it's nice that it comes with that adapter. So if you get this and you think you don't have the adapter, well, it's right there, which is pretty nice. So the shock mount just goes right on top of your mic stand. You can even adapt this on some different uh, tripods. You can get the little adapter, so that's cool. Seems to be pretty nice, and these just remind me, these rubber bands just remind me of, you know, hair ties for ladies. All right, that's cool. And then I guess this is the piece de resistance, right? All right, let's get the box out of the way. This is the mic. Now, no way in shape or form is it as heavy as the pod mic that just came in. But it sounds good, right? All right. It has an overall impressive feeling build for $40, I got to tell you. Uh, I think this is cast zinc, actually, from, from what I remember reading. It's one of the ways they make that price point. And then, you know, there's the microphone capsule right there. Okay. So on the front, you've got your cardioid shape, task cam, TM80, XLR port right there. Turn it over to the side. You can see all of the different things. Right. That's pretty much it. But before we go any farther, wouldn't it be cool to actually take that apart? So here we go. We're breaking out the handy-dandy toolbox. Or at least that's what we were trying to do. I'd like to see what that capsule looks like. I'd like to give that a show to you guys as well. So let's do it right here. Okay, screws are still screwed in, so the threads seem to be pretty good. Don't want to lose that. I wonder if I just voided my warranty. <laughs> well, for 40 bucks, you could buy another one if you needed one. But, you know, that's not really a selling feature, right? You want stuff to hold up over time. But let's get a look at this microphone capsule. Maybe it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put a little silver dot right here. I'll rub off later. And then are you ready? Whoa. Okay, check that out. Okay. So, uh, interesting. I did not expect to see that. It looks like there are a couple of more things to take apart. But on the inside of this, whether it's cast zinc, it, it's definitely pretty thick and solid. That's not so bad. So let's go ahead over here and just take out this little board. I'm sure that I've voided my warranty at this point. but Oh, cool. So this does have a specific direction that it wants to go. All right. So this is nice. Let me go ahead and get that other screw out of there. Okay, it's out. So, 
what do we know? We know that this faces the front. And before I show you the good part, let's show you this part right here. So this is what you see right there. Check it out. Let's see if I can get it better to you. All right? So that's your windscreen pop filter. Okay? And that's pretty solidly built, man. I got to tell you, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And now here's the cool part. Let's look at the underneath first. Okay? When you look at the underneath first, we pull it over right there. Now we could zoom in a little bit. Be nice, right? But, yeah, so that's what it looks like. And then there's the back. And there's that diaphragm. Now, I can't remember what the specs said that it was. But, well, that's not going to help me right now. The box says that it is a condenser microphone. Oh, that's it. Not really much else on the box that I can see. Eh. All right, friends. From the Amazon listing, it says that it is a large diaphragm, 18 millimeter aluminum diaphragm cardioid pickup pattern microphone. Right? It says that it's got a sound pressure level of 136 decibels. And it comes with a tabletop stand and, and the other things that we showed you. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Not bad. But that's what it looks like on the inside of there. Let's go ahead and put this back together. All right, so that actually was quite a bit better built than I had expected. Let's go ahead and have some audio samples. What do you say? All right, so here we are. We are currently recording on both the pod mic as well as the Tascam TM80 12345. One, two, three, four, five. I hope that you can kind of see what's happening here. This is a test. One, two, three, four, five. Right now, I'm going to speak directly. This is the pod mic test. One, two, three, four, five. With all the Aphex effects already built in, as well as the Lexicon effects already built in as running through the Rode Podcaster. All right, so now you're hearing the Tascam TM80 running into the Portacapture X8, also by Tascam. Similar to the Rodecaster Pro, we have actually turned on the vocal effects, specifically the EQ for the vocal. And I want to know how that sounds. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Check test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, all right, friends. Now you've heard it. We've got the TM80 compared to the Rode pod mic. Which one sounded better? I have not yet heard these two. You got to hear it before me, so let me know down in the comments below which one you like the best. $40 mic up against a $100 mic? Hmm, that could go either way, right? Uh, my money's on the pod mic, though. However, as a large diaphragm condenser, looks pretty good. I think it's built very well. But once again, that all is up to you. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I truly would appreciate it if you'd use the Amazon and PayPal links down below. And let me know how you're thinking once again. I'm Rob. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye for now.